What's up, guys? Welcome to the very first episode of Overworld. This is going to be the first episode of our first series. I'm Kane. I'm Abel. And we're going to be playing Dark Cloud. So the way that these episodes are going to work is that over the course of a few weeks, we're going to be playing the same game in, like, episodes. It's going to show. So It's going to um, be coolio. It's going to be cool. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... So we're playing Dark Cloud. This is a classic PS2 game. It's one of my one of the games that I grew up with. One of I've my absolute favorites. I've never played it. He's never played it. And it, it, that... it straight up looks like Zelda to me, like just off the first gameplay with a little bit more fantasy into it. Um, but... So would it be a bad time to tell you that this game is pretty much like a insult, an, an insulting rip from the Zelda series? No, because I love the Zelda series. Uh, um, I like, would love to play it if it's something along the lines of Zelda. Okay, if it's anything, yeah. If you if it's anything like Zelda, I would love to play it. And I just never. This is probably one of those games that I just never saw as a kid, and it was something that I just literally couldn't get into because I didn't know it existed. Okay, well, welcome to welcome to PlayStation's attempt to be Zelda. So let's do this. All right. All right, right off the bat, like I said, it looks straight up like Zelda, except for the, you know, billowing blobs of smoke. <laughs> Why did you go back to the start screen? Okay. Okay. All right. We're going off of an entirely new game. I haven't ever seen any of this, so... All right. Oh, my God. So, so first first, off, first thing off the bat, right? Yeah. Um, the book was found in some old ruins. Shut up. No. I, I, am, I am speaking from the heart, okay? This music... This music, I could listen to this music all day long. Yeah. Um, when I first played this game, I heard this music, and I'm just like, I was just immediately captured. Don't skip any words. I'm not skipping any. I'm keeping the stream or recording. Don't just going. don't don't click any buttons. Book was found in old ruins. Okay? Yeah. Let's listen. Okay. So like, this music right here, this just captivated me. Like after. After a few years, I learned how to play this song note for note on the guitar. Um, you've heard me play it a couple times. I have. I just didn't realize where it was from. Yeah. You're much the more into video game music than I was because whenever I play a video game, I I I'm paying attention to it a lot more nowadays because I'm literally next to you. Um, but I never, whenever I play a video game, it's like, I listen to the music and I'm in the, I'm in, I'm in the moment. <laughs> I'm in the moment. I'm in the moment. And I'm listening to the music, but it doesn't capture me like the actual visuals of the game, the gameplay. I I make myself the, that character. That's yeah. what I do in a game. Yeah. But see, to me, the music in a game is everything. And like, I and I get that. It's because one one of the one of the huge things that like like really makes me passionate about gaming and the reason why I love video games so much is because it takes you into another world. It immerses you, and a huge part of that immersion is the music. If you take the music out of a game, what happens? It becomes life. Ugh. That's what I'm saying is uh, the way I play a video game is I I, I hear the music. I, I love the music. It sounds really good, especially during like the intense moments of the game. But I imagine myself as that character. It's a getaway. It is a getaway. I have to make sure that I'm as immersed as possible in a game. So, so if, if I'm, I'm playing, playing a first-person first shooter, shooter, I'm, I'm listening, listening to only the gunfire. gunfire. I'm, I'm listening, listening to only the rockets going off in the background. background. I am immersed in that game completely and utterly. I am that person because it is a getaway from everyday life. Now, I, I, granted, I get there it, but I don't want life, I don't want the game to be life though. I want to escape from life. You know, it's it's just different ways that we look at it. And yeah. it's, but, but it's still um, a, it's still a getaway for both of us. But uh, go ahead and go ahead and turn up the music just a little bit, and I'm going to put some commentary here. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. <sighs> Thank you. A book was found in some old ruins. We already skipped that part. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. A world with two moons illuminating the sky. We're in Star Wars now. Shut up. <laughs> The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. His name was Link. No. But, <laughs> but no. But but whether or not this is a true story. 
Push the button, please. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in the story woven in the book? I always believe in the story woven in the book. Maybe it's a fantasy that existed only in a boy's heart. His name was Sora. Let, oh my god. <laughs> let, let me tell you Wrong this. Wrong freaking franchise. <laughs> it's talking about hearts and All right. Let me tell you this story. This ancient book tells of a magical and magnificent fairy tale. It tells of a tale. It's a good anime. <laughs> All right. And the hero of this wondrous tale whose name is What's that? Samus. Okay. Okay. So I am going to make our little name right quick. Uh, where's the delete? Button? Ever since I first played this game, I was wondering, well, what kind of name is Toen? Toen. 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 His name was T-O-A-N. He has Toen. a toe and. <laughs> toe and what? <laughs> a toe Something. and cheese? A toe and what else? All right. Able. Not... There we go. You know that there's six characters you're going to have to name in this game, right? Why? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to decide real quick. I'm Sorry, gonna I don't want to spoil the name of it for you, but there's six characters you have to name in this the game. Dark Shrine. Oops, we're in Megalovania now. <laughs> <laughs> No, this, so, my family actually thought that this scene was, like, was too grown up for me. Mm. You'll see why. <laughs> Titties? <laughs> oh, we're in a strip club. Got it. Where's my... So, bills? it's, so this is a, it's a ritual, right? Right. You've gathered quite a few of them. I do <laughs> 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 There is blood mixing the blood of witches with that of humans is the key to breaking the seal. <laughs> However, I do have some problems. Problems? In order to procure <laughs> good material, you need to... Well, I don't know what the f*** I just said. I see. I'll pay you extra. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I missed all the rest of his dialogue. So when will it happen? Very soon, sir. Let us enjoy the ceremony till it's time. This is a very pro provocative ceremony. Enjoying the ceremony, I will. Can I, like, sit down and have somebody come over? <laughs> so, no, Are our first it, 30 seconds up yet? It, 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 has, it has not gotten to the worst part yet. Oh, God, all right. Yeah, no. Once you start pop locking and dropping it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll see the reason why. Look, all right, so wait for it. No, they start twerking. Got it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh man. No, it but is no. really cool little intro though. But yeah, it, like it, it, it's it's weird to see like the thought process of like the creators of this game going into making this because they're trying to make it ritualistic, but they're ten out of ten making it a freaking strip club. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's just like for its time, like this intro was super unique and flats, huh? <laughs> do, do you know the letter? Something I don't know what I was gonna say again. Of course. How much money do you think I put into acquiring this urn? That's a big ass urn. I've been waiting for this for years, and now its legendary power is mine. Oh God! Another world domination bent ass. Four hundred years ago. Four hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what do you intend to do with such frightening power in your hands? You'll see. <laughs> Alright. That. Yeah, twerking. That. Got see it. it? Yeah. Ass um, everywhere. Like, this... Like, my family thought this game was, like, a little bit too grown up for me. Just because of this scene. And it's, like, the only scene where that's, like, a thing. Gotcha. The rest of it's just Zelda rips. <laughs> yeah, the rest of it is a bunch of Zelda rips. Oh. It's got that, that, it's got a that bunch perp drink flying out. I'm, I see Somebody the, puffing oh. a little bit too much on the hookah. So now is the time. Yes, I saw it, Zips. I hope people think we have contagious laughter. I really do. 
I, I hope so too. Like, I, if somebody's gonna come, somebody's I, gonna comment and be like, his laugh sounds like he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're probably gonna say that my voice sounds like a hyena. Well, it's quite different than I imagined. That's a that's Buddha. That is the dark genie. The dark genie. Is there a light genie? Not that I'm aware of. The ancient dark genie. This is it. So why is Riku in this? Hey, who are you guys? So why is Riku in this game? <laughs> Welcome back, genie of darkness. I broke the seal and freed you, therefore I am your master. <laughs> oh, is that right? Whatever. Fine. Oh! Idea! <laughs> ah, that's right. I haven't eaten for 400 years. Darn, I have to eat something. Food, 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 food. There's a big guy right there. Oh, God! Yummy! Got you. <laughs> right? <laughs> Scrum diddly umptious fat man. Where's your dialogue? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my dialogue. That's all you get. Because <laughs> that's all I would say in that entire... <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I did it for you. Delicious. All right. All right. So that's what happened. Yeah, I see. He gained a whole bunch of power. He got a genie. He's going to make some wishes. And then he's going to free the genie. And we're all going to live happily ever after with Princess Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. And now we're here back in Hyrule. Ah, I mean, Norun Village. With two giant balls in the sky. Yes. We're on Tatooine. Hi, how are you today? Abel, it's already started. Come on, let's go. Okay. Fine, I'll come. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of come. Uh, see, I told you you should have hurried. Oh, we're late. I'm a staff member this year, so I have to go. Sorry. A staff member? Ooh. Uh, you can help me with my staff member. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she left you. Hey, well, hurry up. Why? Why is why is his mother, like, her, his mother has this deep-ass lumber snack voice. Look, she went through the transition. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's okay. All right, we are sensitive to that thing here. Yes, we are. We we we, we welcome any deep voice. Any and everybody woman. is welcome here. So her having the deep voice is okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll go with that. All right. So what's the name of the town? Uh, this the music again. Like what's, listen so what, to this. So what's the name of the town? Uh, this is Norun Village. Okay. What's the point of this dance? Are they doing like a rain dance? You, or you know, you know that that Native American flute I have. I learned how to play this. Like, this, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like hitting a revelation right now. I think that this game is what influenced my love for video game music. I thought it was, um, I don't remember. The, the Elder Scrolls was a huge yeah, part Elder of it. Scrolls. Like, Jeremy Sewell, like, um, biggest fan, but, like, Jeremy Sewell comments, thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> right? But no, but this, Jeremy Sewell, please comment. Um. But he would literally I would, pre in his uh, pants. Yeah, I, I, I would, I, I would piss myself. <laughs> and the genies. Okay, we're in ET now. Got it. Uh, what's up with the giant ruby in his belly button? Look at the insects squirm about. Okay, ignore me. <laughs> Got a smile. All right. <laughs> Please tell me it doesn't come out of his butthole. <laughs> <laughs> no, it comes out of his foot. <laughs> Just right out of his grundle. What is he shooting? Like, is it like, it, it's just like, magic? It, it's, yeah, just, it's magic. Okay, so it's Dragon Ball, Z Dragon Ball Zelda. Dragon, <laughs> that's Dragon the, Ball Zelda. That's what the Z stands for. Oh. And everything is gone. And the village is gone. Am I the only one left? No. Nope, everybody's running around panicking. Alright, so what's his actual name supposed to be? Toen. Toen's that's, supposed that's to be? That's Toen. Okay. I mean Link. You mean Link. He's even got the green hat to match. 
Yeah, like, like that's, that's one, one of the biggest, biggest rips. Like, if you jump from that far away, you would be dead too. <laughs> Hence, oh, being dead. Oh, <laughs> all right. I didn't expect that. Dark Only because I had my back turned. <laughs> For those of you who don't know that reference, it is a TikTok. I don't remember the dude's name, but he's hilarious. He gets hit in the head with a board and literally just goes, Huh! Oh, didn't see that coming. Probably because I had my back done. Hi there. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Wake up. Hi! <laughs> it just gets continuously more it just perturbed. Gets, it just gets continuously more cantankerous and perturbed. <laughs> I am the Fairy King. I am the entity that unites all of nature's spirits. Listen well, young one. Something bad has happened. Men blinded by greed have revived the Dark Genie. This Dark Genie is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it could destroy the entire world. You saw it, your own village being destroyed right before your eyes. Not just your village, in a flash many villages and towns were destroyed. In one night, half of your world was annihilated. Huh, that was my la like my last marriage. <laughs> 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 God damn it. God. All right. It must be the men from the east that performed the resurrection ceremony. Probably thinking to use its black demon power for war without realizing how frightening it is. It is darkness. Pure darkness itself. Long ago, this so-called dark genie almost destroyed the entire world in darkness. In darkness. <laughs> it's, <laughs> its malevolence is that great. The bad thing is that it has the same type of magical power as us, spirits. Unfortunately, we aren't powerful enough to destroy it. Unfortunately. <laughs> Young man, Instead, I said you're going to send a 14-year-old boy off to kill it. <laughs> Young man, I see that you have a strong will that could withstand the evil power, Frodo. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Uh, uh, Abel, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. It's a compliment. Yeah. Also, a clear... I'm the deepest voiced 14-year-old you will ever meet. <laughs> My and... name is Abel. Uh, I, I actually don't think that your character says anything in this game ever. And so he pulls a freaking link. Yeah. Got it. All right. Yeah. Am like... I, I going to hear... <laughs> Uh, uh, um, I am, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't right. want to say anything. All right. Uh, you didn't let me read! I didn't want to! I decided to stake our fate on you. Let me bless you with power. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Take, Take this! <laughs> God. But no, it's, it's straight up a Zelda rip. Like, All right. There. Surprised? That's called Atlamilia. It's a stone with a magical power. Got it. Triforce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't look that way, boy. I'll explain now. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. Thank you for the gift. Now let it blood me. <laughs> All right, we're in training grounds. Got it. Do you know where this is? This is no simple empty lot. This is where I used to live. This was the trailer park. <laughs> this was your village but do not lose heart also as long as you have that stone you can return it to its original form you see just before okay, the village was destroyed shut now. up and listen to the powerpoint <laughs> <laughs> you see just before the village was destroyed by that genie I saved the buildings and people by sealing them into spheres called Atla it seems those Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magic power. They were probably blown to different places around the world. It probably thinks everything is destroyed. You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. Absorb that which I sealed in Atla using that Atla Milia and bring them back. Then you'll be able to restore the world to its original form. Thank you, oh wise man. You're welcome. You may even be able to cre uh, 
uh, <clears throat> able. I to definitely am able. <clears throat> I know to create an even better world than before. All right, let's look at our hand. Mm. Stare at it. You don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. Nope, you really I'm are an idiot. I'm, I'm Helen Keller. <laughs> <laughs> that was dark. It's almost <clears throat> as dark as the genie. Um, you don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. You truly are an idiot. Oh, well, I'll <laughs> give you another lesson when you acquire some Atla. You underestimate my stupidity. Yes. <laughs> so long. Uh, uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand anything. Bye. Yeah. Like he literally leaves you with oh, nothing. Look. Snobby. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the music. Abel, can you hear them? You should be able to hear them. Voices of the wind, voices of the trees, voices of the animals. I didn't realize they all had voices. <laughs> <laughs> and the voices uh, I'm of the pretty earth. sure this is the voice of the fairy king. Is it? Yes. Okay. They're well, all you're calling on. for your help, Abel. You will probably meet and say goodbye to many people. Hi, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. I said hi, bye. Oh, whoops. In talking to these people, you may receive clues to defeating the darkness. Look for them. What now, Abel, your adventure will begin. What? What? If, what if I don't want to though? All right, we're gonna turn that down just a little bit. First, go to the village chief's house. He'll show you where to go next. The village chief's house is still here? I thought it got absorbed into Atla. Just don't ask questions. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Norun village. Or no rune village. No rune. Okay. Okay. Uh, Welcome to the jankiest controls you'll ever play with in your life. Okay. Items, <laughs> weapons. Do we have any items? No. Active, active. What is this? All right, Defense so, power. Yeah, so the, the left button there is your is like your weapon that you're using. Okay, I've got a dagger. And this this over here on the right, that's your inventory. Like it shows all of your, your items, and then if you use the L1, it'll or, or L1 and R1, it'll switch between them and show you your different like it says attachment up there. Yeah, attachments, those are attachments weapons for and weapons, items. weapons okay. and items. Uh, this is just items again. Allies. Yeah. Okay, so I get. Friends. So this is. Oh, well, please tell me this isn't a turn-based combat. It is not. Okay, thank God. It is not. Um, I hate turn-based combat yeah, no, so it's, much. Yeah, That's why I never played the Final Fantasies. Yeah. So, um, like I like played a, some of them, but like, the, like I said, so oh. you're you're seeing it early now. So this is the allies portion of it. Um, there's going to be six characters in there. Giorama, or Giorama. Giorama. Giorama parts. Yeah. Nothing. I'm blank. Got yeah, it. you'll you'll learn I about have no you, freaking you, foundation. Got you, it. You'll, you'll learn about Giorama later. You see the little Atlas symbol on the button. Yeah. That that's like stuff that you get back from Atla. Like you'll learn about that later. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's go talk to Big Kahuna. The Big Kahuna. <laughs> it does look kind of like a. Is there a what, what what kind of architecture would you say that it looks like? Like it. Oh God. Why? 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 Just uh, look. The best way. The best okay, way to can, navigate can, through this game. Can I like Austin? What did I do? <laughs> All right. Listen. All right. So look. You, How do I get out of this? <laughs> <laughs> um. Here. Hit. There you go. Okay, got it. All right. I teleported. Uh, the, the best way to navigate through this game is literally to walk forward and use the camera to turn. Okay. We're going to see if there's some options here. Um, no, because this is an old game and they did not know how to invert controls. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to die. <laughs> so much. All right. Um, Soft focus. Okay. God <laughs> dang it. All right. Back out. All right, so you just walk straight and use the camera to turn you. It uh, is, that's not the door? That is okay, the door. Okay, that is the door. Got it. I just got to press a button. Why can't you be more simple? Let me phase. <laughs> Hi, Abel. You're alive. <laughs> Interesting choice. <laughs> it seemed like we're the only ones in the village that survived. We never dreamt this has happened. 
One night our village is one night and our village is gone. Can you believe this, Abel? Yeah, he's the big cone. He's got so, a... Sorry, Abel, I'm a little high right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I feel so helpless. I, the mayor of the village, can't do anything about it. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know. Rely on a 14-year-old boy. Apparently. <laughs> like the preacher. They, they both just, like, put you, their heads down in disappointment. Full... Like, what do I do? You fully just missed that comment I made. What did you say? What, what, I missed it. I'm sorry. I, was... <laughs> I said... I will rely on a 14 year old boy like a preacher. Oh, God. Yeah, oh. you whole missed oh. that. <laughs> that went God. dark. Okay, that went dark. All right, I guess the only thing we can do about it is to get help from the guardian of the Norun village, Dran. Yes. Dran, why is, what is with everybody in the four letter names? Abel, Toad, Dran. I don't know, man. Maybe the maybe the creators were lazy about the names. I don't know. The Divine Beast Cave and tell Dran what happened. That's the first dungeon. Got it. Okay. Divine Beast Cave is a cave outside towards your right-hand side. You've probably seen it before. I may be imagining things, but I sense something has changed about the cave. Be careful. I turn into Gandalf. <laughs> this is the cave key. Uh, materialized. Got it. <laughs> Okay. Cave key authenticated. So, wait, I was dead. What? I was dead. Yeah, you were dead. Like ten out of ten. Fairy King brought me back. Fairy King brought you back. And to then life. said you're going off on a mission. Yes, he brought you back to life. He put you in the empty lot where your village used to be, and now this guy's alive for some reason. Right. Just ready to give you the key to go into the the dungeon over there. Spiky bugs coming out. That's not a good thing. You might want to get that checked out. Okay. Oh, got it. All right. Prickly acquired. I know. That's my nickname for it, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't it's think... It's actually Reginald the Third, but okay. So, all right. <laughs> all right. So, over, over the course of the game, like, as you keep progressing forward in a stage, there will be little chests that show up everywhere. I don't right. think there's going to be any in here yet. Uh, I don't know. Check the... Go back in the closet. I was in the closet. All right, uh, so click X everywhere. Like, walk around in there and click X. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, I'm clicking X all over the place. All right, Nothing is happening. Not, nothing's happening? Okay. okay, so there's no chest in there yet. Okay. So no chests have shown up yet. All right, so... Got it. Um, so I'm going to show you a really cool trick. Um, so go down the stairs. Down the stairs, got it. All right. You can either run across this entire map and go to the dungeon, or, or you can press select. A neat trick, you go to select and then do that. Yeah. And then it'll drop you wherever the finger is. Where's the dungeon? That's the dungeon? I'm no, missing? that is the exit to the world. That That's the is, dungeon. yeah. To I'm the overworld, you might X. say. Okay, there we go. You gotta click select again. And that's the cave entrance. Mm. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Uh, no. Uh, back out of that. Uh, go to your menu real quick. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh items. items. Okay, sure. alright, he supplied you. Cool. Okay. Antidote drink, cave key, tasty water. Water? What? I was, I was making sure that he gave you everything that you needed. Okay. Nearly quenches thirst. Is there a freaking hunger and thirst meter? In oh my there, god. There, not a hunger meter, there's a thirst meter. Um. Right, but you see prickly. it, you see it right down there. There's a, there's a... Like a, a thirst, thirst meter, meter. you see it. that. The repair powder recovers. Oh, there's. You gotta repair your weapons. You have to repair your weapons. Your weapons can break. Every Obviously. every single weapon in this game can break, even the most powerful ones. Like that's, that you. Okay, so it literally took Breath of the Wild took from this. Breath of the Wild took from this. Yes. All right. Cave key. Press enter to the. Or key but the to... difference here is that you can repair your weapons in this as a game mechanic. Okay, so we're gonna want. The cave key and our items. Nope, can't do that. Never mind. <laughs> um, and this is honestly, this is one of the, this is one of the biggest draws to this game, and one of the biggest reasons why I love it so much and what sets it apart. This is, and what do you, what would you say are like, the the necessities, the requirements for a game to be considered an RPG? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I'll 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 help you out with this, right? So you have a storyline. Yeah, right? obviously. you're playing as somebody. Again, you underestimate my stupidity. Uh, yeah, I know. You're playing through a 
you're playing through a story of someone like going through an adventure of some for of some form that's one part to it okay the other part is a leveling system tell me one rpg you've ever played that didn't have some form of a leveling system where you uh gained new skills or new abilities well i mean none really right Every single RPG has some form of leveling. of a leveling system. Got it. Toen and all of his allies don't level up. They don't gain any. Well, you can, you can. So it's Dark Souls esque. Uh, I wouldn't. No... I wouldn't say that because it's not nearly as hard as Dark Souls. But, um, all right, don't stay right there for a sec. Um, you got to read them. I yeah. have to read them. Like okay. that's not, so. Bye. Um. Your character does not level up at all in I this I want game. you to know we've been recording for 30 minutes and I've gotten to the first cave. That's fine. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Your characters don't level up in this game. Your weapons do. You so why do they break then? They they break because like it shows like how important they are. That you are, have enough supplies to keep them in, good, in good working order. Keep them from breaking. Okay. Um, Alright. <clears throat> <clears throat> character. <clears throat> Getting into character. <clears throat> and see. It's for real this time, Abel. From here on, you will be put to the true test. Look at my ass. Isn't it great? <laughs> that is all. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he turned around, and the first line he says is first conquer this wretched divine beast's cave. And that is not the proper turn time to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> First, conquer this wretched divine beast's cave. It may and he, have like, a little bit like, of he, speckle he, he, on the walls. He like bends over and spreads his cheeks. <laughs> and and find Dran's lair. It might take you a while. I'm prepared. That's your first goal. All right. Since you're a beginner, I'll give you a lesson on how to fight in the dungeon. All right. Turn to page 42. First to advance to the next floor in a dungeon, acquire the gate key you for the door leading to, to the next floor. Okay. Each dungeon has a different gate key. For the Divine Beast Cave, Dran's Crest will be the gate key. The gate key is almost always carried by a monster in the dungeon. You must defeat the monsters to acquire the gate key. Since you can't tell which one has the key, you just have to defeat the ball bond by one. <gasps> Next, I'll tell you about how to return to the ground level, rather than advancing to the floor below. Listen to this part, this is important. Okay. To return to ground level, mind connect with me. In other words, speak with your mind. So we have to love the gut. Yes. When you do this, I will transport your body to the ground level. Just select leave dungeon from the main menu. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> sorry, I blanked. I thought you were still reading. But be aware, if there are monsters left on the floor, the mind connect won't work. It will be blocked by their evil energies. Got it. So I have to kill everything. You have to, to kill sure everything in order out. to leave the dungeon. In okay. such cases, use the item escape powder to get out on your own. That would allow you to get past enemies. Like if there are enemies, use escape powder and you can transport. The uh, Norun village chief has lots of it, so be sure to get it before you go. Already got it. He, he gave you some. You can also mind connect with me when you go through the gate to the next floor of a dungeon. When you re-enter the dungeon, you can start at the next new level so you don't have to worry about losing progress. Next exon to weapons, turn to page 72. <laughs> <clears throat> the more you use a weapon, the more it wears, and finally it breaks. Broken weapons will disappear. You can't get them back. Got it. To prevent weapons from breaking, use the item repair powder. To it prevent weapons from breaking, wrap them up with some tape. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> it will restore their WHP. That's weapon hit points for those idiots in the class. Thank you. Yes. Uh, no, literally, <laughs> thank you. You know who you are. <laughs> The longer you use a weapon by repairing, the more magic it absorbs from monsters and thus becomes stronger. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's said that when a weapon reaches its full strength, it can change to a more powerful form. Keep that in mind. Oh, I cast a special spell on the dagger you have on it, so it'll never disappear. Oh, cool. Yeah. Because plot armor! I always have a weapon. The stupid-ass dagger doesn't break! 
but every other amazing weapon that you make in this game breaks. So, question. Can I make the dagger so OP? No. You can't. There, okay, there are playthroughs that exist where you only use the dagger through the entire playthrough. You can make the dagger stronger, but only a little bit. It caps out at a certain point. That's stupid. Yeah. I think we really need to stop using the word retarded. People will get offended, though. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to offend anybody. Yeah, fair enough. So, we we'll, we'll call anything stupid, whether it's the other word or the other word. <laughs> it's stupid. It, idiots. Stupid. Idiots. Basically. Stupid. That's yeah. fine. Okay. Right. Don't waste your heart. Oh, f sorry. F you, you <laughs> piece of <laughs> Finally, the important stuff. Turn to page 107. 105. 105th? 105th. <laughs> Finally, the important stuff. The Turn sphere. Turn to page 111. <laughs> <laughs> 111. The sphere, Atla, where I protected and sealed the fragments of the world. Do you remember that part when I told you about that? If you see an Atla, don't hesitate to touch it. You can absorb the contents of an Atla into Atlamilia by touching it. When you return to the surface, you will be able to begin reassembling these fragments of the world. Oops, today's lesson ran a little long. <laughs> That's it for the lecture today. Now, Abel, show me your true ability on this quest. I will do my best and I will probably die trying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, fair warning. Uh, all of the dungeons in this game are repetitive as that's fine. I'm not worried about that. All right. Um, so yeah, your first enemy is a cave bat. I I drank something. You drank water that was really, really important to you. Can you like roll or dodge, jump? Um, no, you can't do any of that. Oh, Atla. Yep. Hey. Yeah. So you oh, hit split and open balls. Yeah. You 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 hit all of the Atla in an area, and when you gotcha. go into a dungeon, okay. it'll tell you how many of them. Macho's are house of Dame. Macho man Randy Savage. <laughs> got it. We got him back. That is all we need. Back to the surface. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's literally it. No, I'll give him the sphere. Wait, and he can do the rest. Didn't you only get his house? Yeah. Well, then you didn't get him. I got a fence. You got a fence. Oh my God! Tell me this isn't like I get to create this town. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No, that's no. Kinda, that's kind of cool. Yeah. No. There, there's a whole sim to build the towns. Like it's great. Okay, can I block somehow or like parry? All right, so um, I can't remember how to lock on. Uh, it's gonna be one of the triggers or. I'm trying to figure it out. Try but... try clicking the three buttons. Like like R3 and L3. Like click down the sticks. Does that not do it. Nope. We're All just right. gonna melee him. That that's not smart. You gotta lock on, man. I can't. Uh, try R2 L2. Like try the. Oh God. Run away! <laughs> run away! Run away! Get away from me! All right, all right. Slow down. Let him swing, and then run. All right. Um, you got to figure out how to lock on, man. Try I know, circle. I'm trying to. Try circle. Circle? Yeah. There okay, you go. Circle work. All right. Got cool. it. There you go. Okay. He's not that much. Hey. Hey, look. I got a thing. All right. Dran's crest. Okay. All right. So now you have now you have the key to get to the next floor. I really wish I could like. Tuck and roll or something. Yeah, I know. Like this is how slow you are for a good little while until you unlock the uh, the town shop. You have to find the town shop in Atla. Okay, I could just spam attack and kill them all. Yeah, but you see your weapon speed down there. Yeah, it your, goes down. Your attacks will run out. Okay, so you've got a stamina bar. Got it. And I have no more water, and I'm down to one. Yep. Um, there will be water sources in the cave. All right. Maybe this will be water. Hopefully. Nope. It's repair That's repair That's good, though. Yeah. Once I get a good weapon, at least. Hello. Yeah. Take that. See? I told you this game wasn't that hard. Okay. There's Atla over there, but there's this guy trying to block me. This is the very first dungeon, though, so. Also, most of the enemies in this game are like, they, they, uh, Telegraph pretty bad, yeah. so like you you'd be can, able to know. Uh, what's can you up. like dodge back or something? No, you okay. can't do any of that stuff. So like, I literally just got to run around. But the, the good thing is, is that when you're in combat, your mobility is crazy. Like you're okay. you you move at full speed when when in combat. You missed There's, a chest back there. What? You missed a chest back there. Did I? Yeah. And you want to open every chest. You never know what's going to be in these things. Uh, every chest in the game is totally randomized. Um, All right. Also, <laughs> this might shock you, 
But one chest in the dungeon will always have a map. And one dungeon in the chest will always have a magical crystal. Do you know what the magical crystal does? No. Exactly. Obviously. Exactly what the compass does in Zelda. Oh, <laughs> no. There's a map and a compass in every floor of the dungeon. Okay, what is this? That is a tram. What is that for? Where am I going with that? I don't you, want to so, go down that. All right, so if you... There, there's a very rare item in every dungeon that takes you into a back floor. Um, yeah. You'll learn about back floors. The the old man's going to show up again and tell you about them. It, obviously, the old man's going to show up whenever I... I'm not going to explain it now because then it's just going to be re-explained in a scene later okay. and it's going to be... Did I get that Adla? Yeah, I did. Okay, I got the river from it. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Okay. Still got him. The last hit in a combo does more damage, so you got okay. by just enough with that. Gotcha. My weapon's at You got a road. Do I need to repair this uh, dagger? Okay, um... So, you need to use... Something. Oh, hold on, wait. Well, no, go into the next room. Hold on, let's see what we have first. You don't have anything to quench your thirst right now, and your thirst will start... Um, per like, you're, you're good for now. Like, you're good to run out of, like, your thirst meter to run out. Um, okay. Because it'll it'll slowly it'll slowly deteriorate your hit points. All right, your weapon's about to break. Repair it. Okay. Wait. How do I click the? Is it select? Nope. Triangle. Okay. There we go. Yep. Item. All right. Uh, repair. So powder. you grab the repair powder and drag it over the weapon and drop it on there. Yep. Got it. Cool. Not that hard. Okay. Yeah, it's not crazy. Thirst reaches limits, health is beginning to de deteriorate. Alright, so you see your health is slowly starting to go down. Yeah. Yeah! Alright. Alright. Yeah, they're not that hard. Dagger, so, so here's... See how it says Dagger's ABS is full? Yeah. More repair powder, okay. That's um, not what I wanted, but okay. It is what you thing. want. You always want repair powder, man. Well, yes, but I need water. Yes, I know. Uh, I'm maybe, thirsty. Ma maybe there'll be water in one of these chests. I'm hoping there's going to be water. That's a, That's a key. That's not water. That's not water. It's bone dry. <laughs> Literally. Okay. Uh, other side of the chest, more. Okay, look. The other one was facing the other way, okay? I figured... Okay, that's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole fish. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's literally no water anywhere. Um... Some okay, so there will be water sources in a cave sometimes, like, um, like there will be like a pool there, like literally a pool of fresh water that you can go and like drink from let, that you can go and drink from, and it'll fill your thirst meter and restore your health. Okay, well, we need to go this way. Yeah, don't don't worry about it, right? I'll let you know when like you're in a rough spot. And I know when I'm in a rough spot, trust me, I'm about to die if I'm in a rough spot. Um, so this is probably, yeah, that's gonna be the don't don't go through there yet. We've still got more Atla to pick up here. Yep. Um, okay, there's an Atla. There's a bat behind me somewhere. Yeah, there's a bat somewhere. <laughs> Just gotta press real quick and get those invincibility frames. Camp. Get away. God, this is bringing back so many memories, man. All right. We're picking up all the Atla. I still need water, yeah, though. Yeah, but you have to. You have to pick up all the Atla in order to... I found to... Macho. You found I, Macho? I found Macho Man Randy Savage. All right, so we're done. Game all over. All right, what is that? Escape powder. Okay, cool. Roll credits. <laughs> get away from my water. I don't know where it's at, but get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Please be water. Okay, no. and I don't drink. I'm about to drink one of those just for the hell of it. Come here, skelly okay. boy. Okay, um... We're gonna keep going. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Bread. Bread. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> get away, get away, get away. Use your sword. <laughs> I'm aware. Your, your dagger, I guess. That is a dagger, sir. All right. Uh, so, uh, click square, and then you can click square here to sort the inventory in the use item thing. You can, or just use the key. 
There you go. Found the gate. All right. There's a chest. Please be water. If it's not water, then you need to use escape powder. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. You can use the bread and heal yourself. That's a map. All right. Uh, now, uh, bread. Yeah. All right, bread. Come here. You bread. can use. Uh, all right. Go back to the. Go back out. Leave it there. Go back out. I'm going to teach you something. All right. Use the directional pad to move over to the bread. Oh, gotcha. There you go. And, and then, then click square. Got it. Go. Okay. That healed me, so we're good now. Yeah. That's how you use the active items. Okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> Trees. <laughs> got <laughs> I got the weed. We got <laughs> Yo, we man. are getting toked up tonight. I, I found some trees, man. All right. All right. I guess I'll just use the bread. <laughs> All right. The reason why you don't want to, why you really want to avoid using escape powder. Because it's rare. Be, well, no, because when you go back into the dungeon, it starts you over at the floor you were at. That you were oh, at that's floor. stupid. Uh, go, go to the yellow. Nope. What about the tram thing? No, you can't do that yet. Um, I was, I was, I didn't finish what I was saying earlier about. There's it. a big keyhole. <laughs> that is a big keyhole. Um, so, there's a really rare item that you find in every single dungeon that takes you to a back floor. Um, okay. That is the entrance to the back floor. Gotcha. And, all right, leave dungeon temporarily. Uh, if you use that option, it means you can go into the next floor when you come back. Okay, gotcha. So I need to go back and get water from right. what's his face, you, Mayor. Yeah, all you all you do is face. go back to the chief, and he gives you what you're missing. Make sure you drink the water, and then talk to him again, so he gives okay, you more gotcha. water. Yeah. That's a hard learned lesson. From and many we're years back ago. with frickin' old man again. Ha ha ha! Seems like you finally come back with some Atla. Why does that so fast? <laughs> <laughs> Very well then. I shall teach you as I promised. <clears throat> Take out your textbook. I don't want to. The pieces sealed inside Atla. Oh god. Oh god. Just keep clicking. Are released by touching the Atla with your left hand. Touching. Specifically your left hand, where the power of Atla Milia resides. Wait, isn't the glove on my left hand? Correct. How? What? Do I do I like yeah. bend my fingers backwards or something or just It's It's on my left hand. Yeah. It says by touching it with your left hand. hand. Yeah, by, by touching, touching it with, with your hand. hand. It doesn't it say touch, touch it with the stone. stone. Just touch it with that Released hand. Released by touching the Atla with, with your left, left hand. hand. The, the glove, glove is, is on, on my left hand. hand. No, the, the Atla Milia is on your left hand. Oh okay. the Atla are the big balls that you crack open. Alright. <laughs> Buildings, Buildings and, people. and people that were sucked into the Atomilia will be restored to their original form. Once you bring them back to the ground level, you can arrange them as you wish. Cool, so we're moving people. I don't like you next to him, we're going over here. Precisely. <laughs> By going back and forth between the dungeon and ground level, you can restore the Earth to its original form. That's your mission as the one who was granted the power of Atomilia by me. You couldn't have given it to Macho Man Randy Savage? <laughs> No, I was never a fan. Now, let us move on. This may get a bit technical. Turn to page 324. <laughs> if you wanted to place buildings, etc., press the select button while walking and go to edit mode. Press the... Uh, 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 walking mode. <laughs> In edit mode, you can reassemble buildings that have fallen apart. And place them on the ground. Got it. Seeing is believing. Try it yourself. Must be fast... No, must be faster than listening to my lecture. Yeah, ten any, out of ten. Anything faster, faster than your than lecture. That. Yeah. All right. Oh yes, and if you ever forget the things I teach you, use this. Don't forget your textbook. <laughs> like, now we can actually a, turn pages. It's literally a textbook. It's a guide for using Atlamilia and other things. I wrote it for beginners like you. Thank you. I appreciate you keeping the stupid in mind. Get it because you're an idiot. Uh. The, the textbook can be selected from the main menu. Read it carefully. Really carefully. Like, super carefully. It's the only one I have. Are we talking? Do we, are we talking fondling careful? No. Uh, <laughs> I, I like it rough. Okay, All I right, leave so the world's retro instruction Yo. to you. I'll be watching. Ha 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 ha
Oh, why is your laugh? <laughs> <laughs> You're narrating this guy like he has a, having a stroke when he laughs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, now go back to the chief. We're not worried about building the town yet. We don't have I nearly want to dodge enough buttons so bad. Bro, you could have just used the select button and remember, track. I know, but I want a dodge button. Well, you're not going to get one. It's You have to go to the bottom of the stairs. It's kind of wonky how it works. Yep. All right. Go talk to this guy. Get some water. Talk to him again. Get some more water. Talk to him again. Get some more water. Now, our only hope is Dradden. Dran has always watched over us. I'm sure Dran has watched us this time too and will help us. Wait, I thought I was going to fight Dran. No, we're going to see Dran. Oh, okay. We're going for his help. Okay, well, I talked to him. Did he give me anything? Uh, no, you need to talk to him again. Put some items you'll be needing in your bag. Right, okay, yeah. Now so we got it. He does that every time. Now drink the water and then talk to him again. Can I just use it from here? Uh, like, you can I drop it on Toen. Oh, okay. And now we talk again. Now, um, I would say use the repair powder, but you already have two of them. Yeah. So, um, it's better that way. Yeah, he's he already gave you your items, so now you can just go back to the okay. dungeon. Okay, we're going to try and set up some of these little houses. All right, now that you have, now that you've been to the dungeon, you can simply press triangle here. Go to dungeon. Okay, gotcha, but we're going to set up some houses. We don't um, have nearly enough pieces for that yet. I don't care. We're doing it. Okay. Uh, configure assembly. Got a lamp. We got macho. Got a river. Where's macho's house? So you see the circle, the open circles there? Okay, got it. All right, macho's at his house. And Wait, we have does he have a wife? House. What? Does he have a wife or something? He lives with his brother. Gotcha. So they're us, essentially. Um... I rotated, it disappeared. Where's the entrance? Okay. Alright, so do you want me to... Alright. You can take my advice or not. Okay. You you do what you want. But, um... Probably won't. Just because I know how this game works. Um, as you build villages, as you construct the towns in yeah. the game, there's a percentage of, like, how accurate it is to how it originally was. Um, and if you finish that, then you get something special for doing it 100%. So okay. the houses need to be in specific places. And so how do I know where the percentage is? Well, uh, you know the percentage from the Giorama analysis. Um, oh, okay. You go there and it shows you uh, the collection, complete, and request. The request you're not going to know until you talk to the people. Got I already it. know a lot of them. Um, I don't remember all of them, but... But for now, just do what you want. We're just gonna make, and a we'll little... just we'll just fix it. We'll just fix it later as we go. Yeah, you'll have to move around houses a lot and like something like that. Because some of the neighbors hate each other. Like you can't put the houses too seriously. Close to... Yeah, there's like like banter going on between these neighbors. Well, I, it's just like they'll tell you, like they'll tell you, all right, I don't want to be too close to them. They stink, and like. Um, it's a little. I want to like, and one of the one of the villagers rude. is like, I really like Anita's cooking. I want to be close to her house, you know. Why do I remember her name? God, it's been years since I played this game. I don't know. You tell me. I wish I wish this was centered so. Bad. I know. Trust me. I know. There's a lot of circumstances like that. I want it to be centered so bad. All right, river. We got a river. I'm gonna put the river here. Good spot, rear river. Yep. We're making a moat. <laughs> making a moat. All right. <laughs> I really want a moat. There's All right. A fence. Now, um, the fence and the lamps and stuff like that, you're not gonna know where they go until there's a slot open for them at in, in someone's house. Okay. And normally gotcha. the people will tell you what they're missing. Like if you go and talk to Macho right now, he's he's at his house. You you yeah. you go to his house and talk to Macho and he'll tell you um, now he might be in the house. He might be walking around. The, he the, gave the... me bread. That's one of the chests I was telling you about. Yeah. Like, like the as, as you progress, those are the little chests that pop gotcha. up. Gotcha. All right. They um, show up everywhere. There's hundreds of them. Oh, there he is. It's straight. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally macho man. I'm, I'm doing this voice. Ah, Abel. 
I missed you, man. Yes. Your smile really brightens my day. <laughs> All right, that's it. All right. Um, okay, so I do talk. I do have a voice. Hello, how should I rebuild Naroon? Fighting is what a man should live for. It's a basic fact of life, right? <laughs> Alright, that's a clue. Fighting. Okay, so fighting is his thing. Yes, fighting okay. is his thing. He wants to fight. Okay. Alright. What will happen when it's done? Hmm. I, you should ask my biggie bro. Alright, cool. Tell me to tell me how to rebuild your house. Look, don't forget to expand my room. And the barbell put that outside. That's so accurate. Why is that so accurate? <laughs> All right. But, okay, so fighting is his thing. So that's the only clue you're going to get. Until Narrating. You, until you, what? Narrating. Oh, sorry. Hey, brother. Huh. Fighting is all about timing. <laughs> Withdraw when you should and attack when you can. Skilled warrior knows all of this. <laughs> I love it, man. Um, <laughs> but, um... But that's the only clue you get from him until you talk to his brother on where the house should be. Okay, gotcha. So, God, that actually hurt my throat. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, so we can go straight back to the dungeon from here. Yep. Yes. Thank and you. and you and you picked up that bread. I did get that bread. You, you got that. We're bread. We're making that bread today. Yep. All right. All right, floor two. Yep. Oh, there's already an enemy nearby. I can hear the music. I can hear it too, but I didn't know that was enemy music. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it's a squirrel. Oh wait, that's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a squirrel. <laughs> it's like a dog out in the, out in the yard. Squirrel. What is that, a marmot? We got meerkats over here. <laughs> Where's the catty go? Or catty? Kitty. And <laughs> the he's gone. Running away. And he's gone. He ran into a wall and died. Okay. Just, well, there's enemies just... places, so hi. How are you? Take this and this and this, and I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. It says that there's an enemy behind me somehow. All right. Let's pick up this apple. Please be Macho's brother. Macho's brother is going to have the exact same voice as Macho. I hope and it's that. room. So that's the extension for his room. Okay, gotcha. Hello, little skelly bro. See, they have a dodge button. Yeah, they can dodge. That's, you can't. That's stupid. I want to dodge. All right, what are you giving me? Min. Min. Minin? Min. 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 It looks like a... It's 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 a misspelled minion. Is it really? I I. It I don't know. Is Minon okay. a thing? Minon? It, I don't know. Because I I know that in the. Hold on. Let's but, see what it does. I I know that in the game. Fish bait. It's it's fish bait. So I'm it's gonna, a minnow. But why does it say minnow? It's minnow. It's their version of minnow. It's minnow. It's not minnow. Let's see. I'm I'm googling this. You can Google that all uh, you want, sir. All right, we need to use a little bit of repair powder. I search when I search Minon fish bait, it pulls up dark cloud references. Right. So, all right. Okay. So yeah, it's just all right. We use my repair powder because I was at twelve. So, so, all right. We're gonna, gonna get as far, far as we can, can real quick. All right, there's some Atla there. I'm gonna touch this real quick. Hi, how y'all doing? Invincibility frames, love them. Gaffer's buggy. Okay, that's, that's the, the that's, that's the town shop. shop. You yeah, haven't found the gaffer yet, though. Hey, look, look see? There, there's a water pool. Get, Get back, back here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh. Nice, I got a little hit on him, too. Two for one. All right. I got bread. Thank you for your bread. Having the, uh, having a longer weapon, you can actually hit, hit him from you, can, you can actually hit and kill multiple enemies with, okay. with like, gotcha. strikes. We're gonna get right here. Yeah, it fully you. heals you and restores your, your, uh, thirst. So, you'll actually be able to get through this floor, yeah. no problem, without, without any, uh, extra items. Gotcha. Because that pool serves the purpose of water and bread. Gotcha. Okay. Magical crystal. What are the magical crystals for? It's a compass. 
It, okay. it, it makes all oh, the yeah, things yeah, pop that's up right. on you the map. Said that already. I'm stupid. <laughs> Again, I underestimate your stupidity. It's it's a thing that a lot of people underestimate. I put off smarts, okay? I put off being an intellectual person, and then everybody realizes, oh, he's oh. a dumbass. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's oh. slow. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's literally like, oh, oh, my oh, baby. My oh, baby. <laughs> All right. It's like bless it's like, your little heart. It's like my, it's like my grandma literally saying, "Bless his heart." <laughs> yep. Because you know, Louisiana. <laughs> bless his heart. All right. See, see what I'm talking about? How the dungeon gets really repetitive. Like the the yeah. Okay, two two, two fountains water? two fountains on one floor. Okay, that's not normally a thing. That's not nor is, is it not normally? It's a thing? not normally a thing. Okay. I don't remember ever seeing that before. Ow! Uh, the bats can poison you, but just warning. Well, I can kill them, so... Alright, All right, thank you. Go away. Goodbye. Alright, more Atla. Cool. There's a little, uh, tram right here. Yep. Um... I got a lamp. Yeah, at some point, the old man will come back and explain Black Forest, but the item that you're looking for, for the, um for the tram is tram oil if you find a can of tram oil you can use the back floor got it okay there's another enemy somewhere it is so dark you can oh what is that thing a mech uh a a a, a yan mech yeah yik ya ya mech is it a, y -A it or is like, it yik mech it, it looks like a sounds like okay, yiddish he's a bitch so we're good <laughs> Endurance plus one. What is That's that? That's an attachment for a weapon. Oh, cool. Okay, got it. It makes the weapon more durable, so it takes right. less damage. Got it, got it, got it. All right, we're going to go all the way back around and bring it around town. <laughs> SpongeBob reference. Um, when you open up the shop... Uh, there's actually an item you can buy to where it'll, you can run faster. Okay, that's um, good. You can you can hold down the item; it'll make you run twice as fast. Gotcha. And okay. It's, it's like a staple. You have to have you like have to fifty have it. of them. Oh wait, that's the entrance. All right. Uh oh. Was that the timer? Yeah, it's the timer. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, that's the end of the first episode. Uh, we're gonna continue from right here where we left off next time. So until then, see, see you in the, the overworld. overworld. So, impressions. This is your first time playing it. How do you like the game? It, do you like it so far? It, it looks like Zelda, to be honest with you. It looks like a dumbed-down version of Zelda. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's, it, it's a complete rip from Zelda, but, I mean, it's a childhood game. I don't want you to love it, too. I do love it. It is fun, but...